May I? With all other lifeguards either occupied or too far away, Chapo races to a little girl struggling alone in the rip. You know, I bolted from the tower. Otherwise, that kid drowns. To lose a kid would be just devastating. A child can drown in seconds. But as Chapo closes in on the terrified girl, he's beaten to the rescue. Yeah, brother to the rescue. Eleven-year-old Kion has had the fright of her life. Kids are just completely vulnerable in the ocean, and you don't take any risk with them at all, and you've got to watch them at all times. Myself, I won't take my eyes off my kid near the water. Had of we not seen her or her brother not seen her, it would have been a completely different story. Distraught, but safely back on the beach. I think I, I will be that. Kion joins mum and dad, who are oblivious to the near drowning. <laughs> yeah, no problem. She OK? Yeah, she OK. Strong, she's strong. This is just what we deal with down here. With so much ignorance down here, people blowing it off like that makes me pretty mad. When I actually think about it, it's, you know, it is life and death, and yeah, I don't know, do you call that stupidity or, or just ignorance? I don't know. Seven PM. After fifty-three rescues and thirteen hours working in thirty degree heat, it's time for pack up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, he got me yesterday too. Now, typically, we just give one last scan of the beach, particularly on the problem areas that we had during the day. Hang on, hang on, hold, hold, hold. We noticed that we had a problem. Dumb guy's got him on a surfboard. Swimming outside of patrol hours is a huge risk. Earlier this summer, a group of Chinese students went swimming after hours. One man could not be resuscitated. Just get back. We've given announcements down there. You know, lifeguards going home for the day. Please do not swim in this rip. Today, just a few minutes more, and this could have been fatal. Down there. All right. Well, yeah, that's the whole thing. You know, if we, we turn our heads or if it's two minutes later, the danger is that the whole family drowns. The last thing we need to do is go home after, you know, working our butts off and having people drown in the same rips that we were patrolling for 13 hours. So it's just frustrating, you know. And just everyone, anyone who can hear me down here, just seriously, like, this word, nearly got five people. You can't swim, don't go in the water. That's most probably the best thing. So guys, seriously, you can't swim, don't go in the water. It's a lucky escape for the three family members, all visitors from China. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not normally that angry. I live here. Normally, I'm pretty happy. Glad you're OK. You are very, very friendly, and I love, I love, them. I love you and everything. Despite his frustration, Chapo does one more rescue. Thankfully, the only thing he's retrieving now is a bodyboard. As we were driving along the back of Bronte, I saw a fin pop up about three metres from me. Is it a shark? Yes. I was like, maybe it's a dolphin, and then I saw its tail fin, and I was like, that's definitely a shark. Hey, uh, jet ski to Central and Bronte like that. I've got about a six to eight foot shark out the back here. Description, hammerhead. Dark, quite dark. I don't think it was a hammerhead. I only just sort of saw the fin and its back fin as well. There was a seal out, Bronte, this morning. It wasn't a seal, was it? Salty. 
<laughs> nah, nah, they, they're definitely a shark. That's definitely 100%. Just so you know, buddy, I just saw a shark out there. Fair enough. Oh, he's putting another five metres out. Don't raise the alarm. I, I told the boys. I'll just let you know. It was, probably, it was only about eight foot, but it, it was... Should we go see if we can see the shark again? No! <laughs> dark and black and um, it, it was really, it, it came pretty close to us. We only really saw the fin but it came pretty close so it was a bit scary. That was my first time seeing a shark. I guess throughout the day we'll probably be keeping our eyes peeled but there was also a seal so you know just every time we see a black thing moving in the water it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a shark. In three weeks of February and March 1935, three young men were taken by sharks from New South Wales beaches. There's hundreds and thousands of sharks out there, but in my time at Bondi, I've only heard about one shark attack. One of the guys saw him and, and said that he yelled something like shark. But about three or four hours later that afternoon, Danny McKell was dealing with a father in the tower. He just sighted a shark, and his son was still in the water. Just watching my son. Just watching my son. I actually okay. saw it too. You go that way. I saw it in my way out Yeah. He's only living so it's like... Yeah. We saw a shark. I saw one at the tip of a wave as it was about to break. I just had three come up saying they definitely saw a shark. Yeah, we're, we're sounding the alarm now. Just attention, all the people in the water. There's been a confirmed shark sighting. The shark alarm is off. We advise you to get out of the water, please. It's brownie grey. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. on its own. So. Okay. okay. Yeah. At the time, I wasn't convinced that it was a shark. We have had a seal hanging around. Oh, OK. It may not have been a seal, but it may have been a shark. We don't know, so we've got to kind of do this. It sounds and pretty... How are you it did look a bit like a seal. Yeah. The most common question we get asked, is there any sharks out there? That's the number one thing we get asked. But if you think about it logically, chances of getting killed by a shark are less than being killed by ants, I've heard recently. surface in the water, but you always expect that. Yeah, not everyone's always going to get out. There's a lot of birds out there. Maybe we need to get Bobby Orwin down here, the shark expert. Maybe he can put this thing to rest. Yeah, jet ski, mate. I'm just going to head out in the boot where all those birds are and see if I can see anything. There's fish everywhere out here, Danny. It wouldn't surprise me. A lot of people do see seals, and I know 100% what I saw out of Bronny, and it was definitely a shark. Seals look a lot like sharks under the water, and we do have seals around here. Chapeau wants to say seal. That's fine by me. I, I, li I like to wait till I see things with my own eyes before I make my own decision. No, I believed you earlier. Oh, no, I'm not saying that you don't. General consensus amongst the lifeguards at the moment is that it was a seal. The outcome was that the dad was reunited with his kid and nothing terrible happened. Pretty scary, I was just watching a, a, a National Geographic episode of Sydney Harbour and the bull shark, so... Um, just went under, man, it was just brown. It was a Roy Schneider out of Jaws scene, I just basically ran down, shark! Just a little tap of the shark alarm and then that's a signal for everybody to go back in the water. It is the ocean, there are seals and sharks out there, so... I don't know, you be the judge. <laughs>